caller on line one. Of course. All right, shut the fuck up. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Indeed. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That sounds great. Hell yeah. Oh. Hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say See what about what's this. happening? I'm so happy. <laughs> Little shower flowers, nice. Survived. I've okay, seen here we are. Over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, Chili Pacabras. Really there it is. And, okay. Uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza <laughs> here at Ponty's Pizza. Wait, well, wow, thank you, Ponty. Brian, uh, Brian really sorry. You. you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals that will have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we Brian, have Brian, is Brian, to die I don't, for. Brian, please. Oh. There's a killer on the loose right now. Yes, thank you. Um, that was pretty tasteless. I to, don't worry hey, about don't it. don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else... You know, every second you talk about pizza is the second somebody pizza. could get killed. You With realize that, right? This weekend, Will you shut the fuck... <laughs> Brian! Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza Brian! this weekend! You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it! You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Wow, what a prick! Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, what, an a ad word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? What ad? No. No. In flight check time. Oh God damn it! <laughs> our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law. To play advertisements from our sponsors. Ah, Grab okay. A and stick it in the player. Fine. Done. Let's hear it. What, what did I do? Whoa. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double <laughs> your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then come down yeah. to Rex Quando. Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. Yeah. The power of the alligator. I mean the discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. What? The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. I think somebody may be making shit up. Techniques. I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30 minute videos. Oh, sessions. only five? Ultimate At $25 power a piece? Can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861 USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Wow, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Bow to your sensei! Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy oh my god, I thought it was done! Two additional VHS tapes, the tornado technique, and karate love me. Call today! Do people really buy this kind of thing? Clearly. Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I'm really not. I mean, buy I buy them, but I might watch them. Oh, I would okay. absolutely love to watch yeah. them. I bet give it a give it a couple decades, sure they'll pop something. up on YouTube somewhere. I, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Yes. Hey, let's just get to the show. Hold wow, on. what a deal! Only twenty four ninety nine. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. I wonder... Hold on. Can I go explore the office some more? I can. We have a call waiting. Oh, crap. But I want to explore. I want to explore. Let me explore. 
I didn't even get to really check out the office. And let the whistling man kill him. <laughs> nah, of course not. But I do want to explore a little bit. I suppose I should take this call. I'm not getting in there tonight. I suppose you should shut the fuck up and do what I say. Go explore. We're between we're between bodies right now. I want to look. I want to look around. Woof. Okay. I'm probably gonna regret it. But you know. Just want to see if there's interesting stuff. I did find a tape in here earlier. Ooh, creepy hour. Oh, I kind of want to hear that. Well, anyway. Craft and work. These are probably important later. Found a tape. Found a tape. Can I put that with the other tapes back at the, uh... What does this say? Grilling the spree. Lines lit up. I need to take the call. All right, all right. I'll go do it. Take it easy. Can I read any of this? Please stop submitting, uh, putting stickers on office furniture. You're lowering the resale value. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's nothing else worth reading. Right, I just wanted to check this out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm a dick. Whoever's calling is probably dead. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Easy, easy, easy. Pop this fucker in there. All uh, right. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Okay, Patrick Warburton, office. what's this up? This guy just broke in downstairs. And Wait, ah, nah, that's not even close to his voice. My bad. Maurice Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Well, she ain't coming, what? buddy. God, another one? Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Aunt Matthews buddy. is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Nope. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Excuse me? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're on live radio, you fucking idiot. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Oh, boy, here we go. Teen. They get worse every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. Oh I my god, it. will you shut the fuck up, dude? You are possibly the worst. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Clearly not. I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Okay, how do you know that for a fact? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV okay, set. so he said... And there's a set in the boardroom. Where would he be at? Oh. Can you get out of there? you can take the wisdom no 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 no. we're not doing that gallows waste ambrose ripley records gallows creek high i gotta figure out where this guy is edcba huh interesting anyway <clears throat> um wait hold on something's funny here Hmm. What do I that means? Anyway, I gotta figure out where is this guy? Jazz Studio, Christine's Gas Repair, Price Slash. Come on, come on in! <laughs> Roller Ricky's Cemetery, Lorraine Estate. He was a reporter, right? Ironside Power Station, Gallows Waste Hospital, Brochure Hotel, Ripley Records, Town Hall, Gallows Creek High. What? Where the fuck does this. Alright, whatever. I'll have to talk to him. 
Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. Oh, boy. Blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. Of course. That's right. Ah, oh, god damn it. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? What? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Vacation. Doctor is too... Oh. And by Marie's time? By Marie's time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. Yeah. I got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. What? What are you gonna do? Oh, wait, is he gonna fax me something? Wait, do they have faxes at this time? I don't think they have faxes at this time. Did they? I don't remember how old fax machines are. You... You don't think the killer got him, I mean, I remember you? when they were a Mr. thing, Russell. but I'm a 90s kid. I'm here. Yep. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your Okay, I guess they have a fax machine. My bad. Let me down. My bad entirely. I'm sorry to be an idiot. There's still more. What do you mean there's still more? Oh, I got. Ah! No! Uh, Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office. Shit, the I didn't realize I was supposed to answer Thanks, him. Peggy. Be right back. God damn it. All right. My bad. I was, I was okay. in too much of a hurry. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Here it is. Okay. Uh, sure. Pop that fucker up. Let's see what we can do. Okay, get on here. Hey, did you get the fax? I have it right here. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Well, now he believes us all of a sudden. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. How about okay, shut the folks, fuck up? We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. How Here's about you say that with a little more conviction in your voice? The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. All right. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Uh, call the call kitchen. Call the kitchen, the extension is zero two. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Go to, go, don't go to the kitchen. Where's the archives? Yeah. You're moving to the archives. The archives? Wait. That's just across from the kitchen. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? No. Uh, let me rethink this. Damn it, man! Do you want me to be a headline murder? Hurry up! Okay, um... On uh, second thought, let's dial another room. Let's dial another... Boy! We're wasting time! I know, He's Shut right, up. Forrest. I can get another number ready. But we probably won't get to change our minds again. Where do you want me to call? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. 
Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? You really don't, no. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. <laughs> he still whistles even I as he goes. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. No, I will Coast mention it. Clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. Good idea. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. Ah, let's hope. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. Probably not. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> wow, I don't mean to keep doing that. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Good, good for you. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Ah, shit. He'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. What's up? The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Yeah, I'm sure. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. Really? You're isn't. right. <laughs> Sorry, Forrest. All right, come on. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room, only the outside. So we you need to lure him in there. Out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in, we can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Uh, oh my God. Something about Boris, this doesn't we feel might be right. We need to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in there? Use a radio. Hmm. Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Think of something else. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. Uh-huh. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? We'll have to find it out. It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. Oh, boy. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. This is not gonna We're go gonna anywhere save nice. Him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Peggy, keep yourself under control. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm, I'm here. here. I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. Wait, I'm Peggy. just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's no, 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 got no. some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Yeah, sure you were. The radio works. 
This is the same guy who was like, I'm not turning the TV on, he'll hear it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. I'm pretty sure that having at least a few days off is a right. Oh, God damn it. What now? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Okay, so what do we do? But wait, we're the radio. Yeah. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Where, where do we have an ad? Where do we have an ad for... What are we? Hold on, there's gotta be an ad somewhere. I have it somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's us. 189.16. It has to say so somewhere, right? Isn't there somewhere I can check? Peggy. Peggy, help a guy out here. 189.16. I'm pretty sure that's correct. But now I really want to make sure. Crap. Um, there's got to be something I can look at to be absolutely certain. Do we not have a poster or something in here? Uh, come on. We got to have something. We got to have something that confirms this. Fuck. Um. Gotta be something in here. <laughs> He's just standing there like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die if you don't tell me soon. <laughs> He's not gonna be searching the office forever, you know. <laughs> Fuck. I mean <laughs> God damn it. I could have sworn... For certain that there was... Nah, fuck this. Um... 1987. That's no help. I could have fucking sworn. I guess... I guess we're just gonna have to... Oh my god, I'm just gonna have to assume. No, no, no. You got it. 189. Okay, I guess I, I didn't. Good. I should have looked I at the options. The My bad. I'm an idiot. Silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Ah, uh, fuck. Um, he's in the kitchen. Call the boardroom. Wait, what's the boardroom? Hold on. He's in the kitchen right now. No, wait! He went to the archives! Ah, shit. Um... Where did we send the killer? Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Where else would I call? Let me have a think again. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero. I don't think he four. ever made it in there. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. Maybe we can distract him with the facts. Maybe if we. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. 
I'm impressed that everybody has cell phones, by the way. Uh, I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. I'll give fake advice. Uh, I'm going to do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. Wow. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call hey, that in. wasn't that bad. Go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Oh, boy. What do you reckon? Hide under the desk, hide in your cabinet, hide inside the secret archive. Hide among the cubicles. You'll see him under the desk. The cabinet might be hard to get out of in time. The secret archive is no-go. Hide among the cubicles. That'll require running past the boardroom. Which I'm not super happy about. Cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. Alright. Well. Crossing my fingers. Sit. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything. Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! <laughs> Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! Oh boy, I hope that works. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... What?! See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Hooray! Forrest, you beautiful what? bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! Frankly, neither can I. Come on, Maurice. Was there ever any doubt? Thank ah, God, it's over. I'll be off now. I'd hurry. Like, Gotta get, get the shit of off here. the stairs and move. You don't have time to pat yourself on the back, man. Safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Good idea, hey, man. Maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the gallows reporter. How about I'll no? Think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to oh, yourself. there it is. Wait, no, that's the train station. Where's the there reporter? We are, folks. The whistling man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath and play some killer tunes. Oof, okay, in just a second, yeah. God, this is a lot more intense than you think it is just from looking at it. Well, it feels more intense at least. Um, let's try Storm Riders. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Oh Looks man. Like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God He's getting over. out, you dick. I like, it's not over here. Now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. I'm Besides, very scary. We've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Yes, well, that's how the ladies like me. Maybe I like being a mystery. Now, nah, what do you want right. to know? Shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. Oh, God. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. 
Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? I'm gonna go ahead and guess nope. no. No, that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Wonderful. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. Well, you know, we're both doing I'm just now. making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. Yeesh! He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. And, well... Wow. Dad. Okay, I'm Mom sorry. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. Ooh. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. I mean, you're anyway, a legal adult. You Mr. could change Weaver it, right? Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Maybe that's what her dad called Any her or something. siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Jeez. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Uh oh. What on earth could someone want at this hour? Don't let them don't in. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K fam regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Also, just generally a bad idea. Uh. Understood. I'm on it now. So. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay. okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. That's not opening. So, where's the stairway? Oh, well, there's a lot more to this station than I thought at first. Hmm. Okay, bathrooms. I guess this must be the stairway. Sure enough. Huh. I'm curious about this place. I'm guessing this is the roof where I'm not going. Okay, let's look around a bit. Oh. Truck! <laughs> um, ding! Yes. Let's look around for a bit. Lots of coffee. Not really so you serious? Oh, like this. If you dare. Oh. I need a key to get in there. Of course you do. Anything else interesting around here? Wait. Why do we have stuff like this if I can't read it anyway? Why can't I pick it up? Hmm. Okay. What's this? Hold on. Aw, kitties. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, reviews for what? Horror movies? Hold on, let me see this. Suburban Nightmare. Suburban Nightmare. The creepy hour from below it came and died alone. Hmm. I mean, I like all those titles, I gotta be honest. Anyway. Datables! Oh, fuck off. Alright. Close this. Close this behind me. Do we have ghosts? Are there ghosts? Do we have ghosts in the station? A... Tape? Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that, buddy. X3. Final decapitation. Wait, wait. Let me see these. X me again. <laughs> I do like the idea of a series of horror movies just called Axe. Good job on the new job. So wait, who is this? I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard, mom. Wait, genie. We don't have a genie here. There's Peggy and me. Oh, hold up. That's certainly interesting. Alone. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, I'm learning things. Ginny and Carrie- WHOA! What was that noise? 
Also, there's a mouse trap here. Um, uh, Genie and Carrie's friendship quiz. Most likely to peak Mount Everest, Hot David, Kyle, or Heather. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. Okay. Most likely to end up in prison. Most likely to escape prison. Most likely to... Be what the hell are these about? Why are these here? Most likely to win an Oscar. Okay. Most likely to trip while running in a horror movie. <laughs> well then. These are fun. Question mark. Alright, there doesn't seem to be much else I can check here. Uh, please stop putting stickers on everything. Yeah, okay. Let's get the tape. Play on air. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Because I think I have a feeling who this tape might be from. I'm just going to say it right now, Nash. This is, uh, this is a really stupid idea. Don't do this. Don't do this. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll... I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, that's reassuring. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Well I... then. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Uh, be careful, Gallo. Sorry about that, that ad. Uh, uh, <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. Maurice locked the killer up. I know. So what's actually going on, then? Either there are copycats... Ooh, copycats. There could be several hey, people. Hey, we had a call from hmm. in. Oh, we do? Oh, shit. Um... Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with F Ash! Shut up and Oh listen shit, to me. Maurice, hi. Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! Gone? What the fuck do you mean gone? He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? Why did you go I'm back? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut. Just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks and... Crap. Well, there was a bunch of us and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. That's shameful, Maurice. I didn't think of you as a vigilante. Not my idea. Hell yeah! <laughs> the guys Sorry. just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself. How did that happen? Yeah. Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy. But if he's back from the dead, then... Are you serious? Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Maloney. There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. No, you didn't. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. Perfectly understandable, I'm man. I'm out of dodge. <laughs> and I recommend you... Everyone listening, do the same. Yeah, no, maybe don't do that. If everybody runs really out into the streets, we're gonna have a problem. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? No, we don't know that. He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? An interesting question.